Hey y'all, it's Kathy Bo. I'm your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here to share with you the near paper pumpkin. Are we backwards? We are. Let me see. Y'all, this is a new program for me and I'm just trying to make sure. Well, it says it's mirrored. Don't mirror it. Okay, fine. How about that? How about that, y'all? Woohoo! Okay, so it's the new paper pumpkin for May of 2023. I took my name out of it because there's creepy folks online. Not, not y'all are creepy, but I'm just saying, you know, we gotta be careful. So I'm going to switch over to my desk camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm fancy like that. Now let's see how I can do this. Dear, hang on, please hold. I want that one, the little one that y'all see right there. I want it to be the big one. It's not what I wanted. I did it 15 times when I was. Um, there we go. I just had to flip it around a little bit. Okay, so there's a whole lot going on here that is messy, messier, and messiest, okay? I have a glass top here on my desk. It's from Ikea, but it's ages ago. And y'all, they don't make it like this anymore, but we did break one of the glasses, and we just went to a glass place and spent way too much money and had it replaced. Anyway, um, so that's why you're seeing punches. There's a little drawer here, see? It goes like that. If you missed it, here it goes again. And then the keyboard, y'all. I, I would like to zoom down. Haven't figured that out yet. And I just need to get this done. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. And this is Exploring in Color, May 2023. I thought this was gonna be black and white, and I was like, not too stoked over that. Okay, I was not happy. Because I'm like, I don't believe I want to color. Now, I do love to color. But I don't believe I want to color all of it. But that's not the case. It's not. It's going to be so pretty. I can't wait. Okay, this is the June one. And it's going to be in these colors. It's called Welcome In. And you can add extra little dyes. They sell out so fast. I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really recommend it. But this is the one we're working on today. And it's exploring in color. So it uses our in colors, which I happen to have. But it came with an itty bitty copper clip. Mm, hold on. How do I show y'all? <laughs> Thank y'all for being so sweet and patient. It's a little ink spot called copper clay. There you go. It's a little blurry. Uh, I don't know how to be the boss of the camera up here. I really don't. But in time, y'all, in time. Um, this is the stamp set, and I'll hold it up like this so you can see all the stuff. It's got a little hiking boot. You know, you can stamp one. I'll show you, uh, maybe. You can stamp one and mask it off and then stamp the other one, and it'll look like one's behind the other one, right? Um, same with the cup. And this is a compass, and the sentiments say, happy birthday, life is meant for good friends and great adventures. It doesn't matter where you're going, it's who you have beside you. Cheers to another adventure. That's kind of cool, like, especially right about now when everybody's graduating. Y'all, we live in a college town now, and when I say everybody's graduating, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. You can't even get into a decent restaurant right now. Okay. All right. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> okay. This is our little kit, y'all. It says paper pumpkin. It's got three, six, nine cards and envelopes and all the doodly doos. Um, exploring in color, paper pumpkin kit, May of 2023. I believe these are about $24 a month. Y'all, it's worth every bit. It really is because of all the extra stuff you get with it. So here, here's what we're hoping for. We're hoping that next time I go on and do a video, number one, that it'll be live. Number two, 
that um that I'll be able to zoom in, y'all. I got to get with these people and find out what am I paying for if I can't zoom in, right? What am I paying for? Because I have to pay for this. I do. Okay, y'all. These are Stampin' Dimensionals. They're foamy little octagons or whatever they are. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight is octagons. Six is sextagons. There's six, six to go. <laughs> There's six to guns. Anyway, got us a little twine. Um, letting y'all know I'm heating up and I need my fan on, but Ninja Man, he never can hear me, so I'm not gonna bother. Um, he in my other studio, I could just push a button and I'd have air. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not here. Um, I know it's a little dark here, y'all, but I had to had to do some finagling because there was so much light. Let, let, me, let me just see right here. Uh-oh, if we can do this, okay? Hold on, hold on, everybody. Let's don't get all, all excited here. Hold on, let's see how, oh, oh. Th there's going to be a glare because it's one of those round lights like all the popular kids have, okay? Anyway, we have the three, and y'all, the directions are so simple. You don't even have to read there's a ticker tape over here or a ruler, whatever you want to call it. It's in inches. Um, and then on the back, you can see all the supplies you get in it, all the stuff. We're getting die cuts and envelopes and ink and stamps and more die cuts. We're getting the um, little stamping dots, the stamping dimensionals and the cards. And then it's going to show you alternatives that you can make with this. Now, here's the sad part. The sad part is, um, oh, you know what? Y'all are seeing test 22 right there. And that that's just what it says on my camera. And I can't get that turned off. So give me just a minute. I'm walking over here to turn my air on. Oh, my word. Y'all, we are... Um, babysitting our grand puppy right now. He's huge, but he's a sweet boy. He's such a sweet boy. But boy, does he like to go for a walk. Okay. Um, let's, oh, let's just see what else is in here before I try and figure out how to make them. Okay. All right. Look, give me a home where the buffalo roam and the deer and the antelope play. There we go, little mountains. And little valley. Now, isn't it cooler in here, y'all, since I turned on my fan? It is. I knew y'all would appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> now, let me show y'all this. This is so pretty. But you know what I'm seeing? Two cards. I can cut this right here and just use one half of this as the front of one card and a half as the front of another. That's what I'm telling you about Paper Pumpkin. There are so many things you can do. And some of these gurus that are on the on the Pinterest, kind of like the bingo, but it's called the Pinterest. Some of these gurus, they're going to go in there and they're going to make boxes out of this stuff and all this other. That is beautiful. Isn't that just beautiful? If you like mountains and canoes. All right. And here's, here's just a valley. So, I mean, it's beautiful. Nature. Nature, y'all. When was the last time you went out in the nature? Maybe we don't want to know, but I'm just saying in case it's a thing. All right, we're going to use this and then this and then that, I think. Yes. Okay. Now, chances are good. I'm going to just turn us all off because I've just laid stuff on the keyboard. Anything can happen, y'all. Okay, let's see what else we got. We got some die cuts here. These are the things we're going to stamp, and there's going to be two pages, maybe three. Please hold. Oh, no, just two. Okay. Then we have, look at that. Y'all, this stuff can go like on your, on your cup, you know, those metal cups that everybody's putting stickers on. That is too stinking cute. Here are some more little things to uh, stamp. And we've got compasses and binocs. See the binocs? And then the um, 
these, I call them, well, these are glue dots, okay? They're, they're just little dots. Come on now, come on, come on. I used a bunch the other day. Okay. They are little dots. I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can. Come over here. There you go. See the little dot? Okay. That's exactly what these are. They come in your paper pumpkin, and they're smaller, so you might use two. And then they have paper on one side, so you just peel off the paper. I save those for when I go on trips. Okay. All right. I'm just going to set this to the side. This is so cute. This is really cute. I'm going to put that on my... um car the back windshield don't ever put this stuff on the on the paint um i have a black car we call the sneak mobile i know y'all are surprised that i named my car no you're not anyway we call it the sneak mobile and it is um it's black and i had a one of those magnets it was the cutest thing and it had puppy dogs on it puppy dog paws or whatever and would you know that the um, there was a guy that came over to clean my car or something? I don't know. And he's like, ma'am, this is actually burning into your paint. So my paint would have had that circle, actually the shape of a dog paw. From my magnetic little dog paw, which I thought was the cutest thing ever. But apparently my car has an attitude. Um, there's something about black paint on a car the paint is softer and maybe navy cars maybe just the dark cars i don't know but he specifically said because i had a black car that it would probably not be in my best interest to do that okay i don't know why i'm punching them all out because i'm just going to use the one and then i'm just going to use the one of these all right and then one each of those okay um I'm going to put that over there. Oh, dear. Hold on. I got a little wackadoodle over there. Okay, I'm going to use one, one, and one. And put these others up. Get them. Oh, dear. Hold on. Man overboard. I don't, I don't quite know. I don't know where it went. But it's down here somewhere. Now, we will do our stamping first for all three. Life is meant for good friends, great adventures. See, I, I don't, y'all, I don't travel. I don't travel. And I just told Ninja Man the other day, I don't want to travel either. First of all, I don't travel. Secondly, I don't want to. Okay. So, I can't, I can't honestly send this out to anybody because, um, if I had like a butler to carry all my stuff, then yeah, I would travel. But I ain't hauling that mess all over the United States and the Europe's not doing it, not doing it. All right, this says happy birthday. I'm gonna do that on this one, okay? Now, with every paper pumpkin, your first order, you're gonna get a block. And it looks like, it looks like this. It's just a little acetate, lucite. Somebody got a little piece of bling on their block. Okay, same size as the D block that you can buy from Stampin' Up. Now, the difference is this is a, it's, it feels so good in your hand and you, you want all the blocks, okay? But this one, if you don't have a block, you'll get this one with your first paper pumpkin and no matter what stamp they send, it will fit on this block, okay? If they ever send a bigger stamp, they'll send you a bigger block. I wouldn't hold my breath on that one. Okay. Boop. Now, we want a little couple of things. Okay. When you first start stamping, you want a little cushion up under your, if you're using, um, <laughs> photopolymer photopolymer stamps if you're using photopolymer stamps you want to wipe them off a little bit first there's a couple of ways to do that you can just do it with your hand it's fine and then you're going to stamp but you want a little cushiony something underneath okay 
So what color did it give us? Let me see. And I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. I sneezed really loud, y'all. Copper clay. It's the same one that they sent us in our Stampin' Up. I mean, in our paper pumpkin. But I want to use the big one. So I can save the smaller ones for when I go on crafting trips. I tend to go on those now and then. Do I like to travel? No. But will I travel to craft? In a heartbeat. Okay. I once took a suitcase full of uh, crafting supplies on a cruise, y'all. And I ended up teaching. Oh, I like that. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I ended up teaching the um, scrapbook class on the cruise ship. I enjoyed it. I really did. My husband's uh, kind of quiet, and um, I'm not. And we do really, really well together when I'm teaching somewhere off the, you know, somewhere on the ship. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. All right, so I do have ways to clean this that are better, but here, here we go. This, this is what we're doing today. This is what we're doing. doing this because I didn't bring all the things. Now your stamps are going to stain. They are. It's okay. It's okay. They're just stamps. Okay. But they are going to stain. So that just means they've been loved. Been loved on. All right. We're going to put this one back. So I don't forget that I ever had it. Um. All right. I really like that boot. How about, how about it if, if I show y'all what I was talking about. Let, let's do it with the cup because the cup is much easier to cut out than the boot. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, I'm just going to rub it just a little bit. All right, I'm going to use a smaller block because I prefer the block to be closer matched with the um, with the stamp. I've still got some packed from over from when I did something earlier. Anyway, anyway, let's see. Hmm. I think I'm gonna do this. All right. So I got ink on my little cup, and I'm gonna put that right here. Okay. We have that. That's not what it tells me to do, but that's what we're doing. Because I am a risk taker. Not at all. Now, I'm going to stamp it again right there. Okay. Then I'm going to take my little nip. Uh-oh. No, I should have stamped it a little, a little higher. Oh, no. We'll do it this way. All right. So the sticky on my Post-it note is right there. I typically use Post-it notes that have um, full stickiness, you know. Um but anyway, I'm just, just going to trim this real quick. I really wanted to do it with the boots because, well, the boot. But you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. And you know what this looks like. I should have used blue because it looks like those, um, those metal, whatever you call it, with the finish on them. Yeah. That's what it looks like. I could actually do the second one in the blue. Let's see. Let's see what we want to do. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Hold on. So, y'all, I was looking for a show to watch because I've run out of shows to watch. And it was raining and all that. So, I, I tuned into Sylvester Stallone's family reality show. And I had about 10 minutes of it. And I was going, whoop. <laughs> you can only look at perfection and glam for so long, right? And bless his heart, he is getting older. So I'm happy about that. But I'm just saying, let me see now if I do it like that. Yeah, I've got to cut this little part out, y'all. I didn't see this coming. Hold on. Please hold. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna fold it a little bit, not 
not a harsh fold. Just put a little niche in it, okay? And then I'm just, now, the other way I could have done that would be with a hole puncher, just a regular hole punch. I always, I always add an R, hole punch, er. Um, but you just, you just punch a little hole and then you work your scissors around from that hole. But this also works. So, you know, when you want perfection, y'all know where to go. Anywhere but here. <laughs> okay. All right. So, y'all, this is my first video using this StreamYard. And I like it except for the whole label there on the test 22. I didn't do 22 tests. I did about four. But I didn't know what to name it. And I just named it whatever. All right. So, now I have what we call in the business a mask. I'm going to put it right over our cup. Okay. It may or may not be perfect. I'm going to go with it's not, but it's okay. It's okay. Let me find. Um, do I want that one? Yeah. We'll use this Knight of Navy. It's a dark blue, but I might do something special here. Let me see. Excuse me, I'm I'm hiccuping a little bit. I saved my um my diet coke of the day, Coke Zero rather. I saved it for dinner. And I drink it too fast. It's that simple. You know, it's science and biology all at once. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now I am going to test this first and see just how dark it is. Test it on what, you ask? Oh, I don't know. How about a sticky note? Okay, that's good. It's not too dark. So, I'm inking it up. And now I'm going to stamp it like this. All right, you see? See the two cups? But wait. <gasps> look at there, look at there. Now that's a little iffy right in there, but it's okay. It's all right. We're we're just doing what we do, right? Okay. Um let me see. Is this Knight of Navy? It is. Maybe, just maybe we can put let's see, is this light? Yes, we're gonna use the light. These are the alcohol markers. Y'all, I put off buying these for years. And I finally bit the bullet. The bullet point, if you will. I really didn't bite the bullet point. But I'm glad I did buy them. Because now they match everything. Okay. You see where I darken that little place. But it needs... It does need its its big daddy color, the dark. But I started with the light, just in case it was a thing, which clearly it was. So now I've just got a splotch. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. So, but you see what I'm talking about? Those blue enamel wear. I think that's what's called enamel. Okay, so the next one we want to stamp. That was fun, wasn't it? Are, is everybody having fun? <laughs> Are we having fun yet? And I know my studio's dark, y'all. I hadn't figured out any of this lighting. Ninja Man came in and he put me two spotlights over there. That helped a lot. But we're not there yet. Just not. So can you imagine those two cute boots? Just walk like they're walking I, I think it'd be cute I'm not gonna start singing that song y'all I'm not you know what song it is it doesn't matter where you're going it's who you have beside you that would be a cute anniversary card wouldn't it now why we're wiping this off before we use it is because there's a little film um it's probably non-toxic but I mean it's, it hadn't hurt me yet, is my point. Um, I'll go ahead and use the correct size of block. Anyway, um, it, it gets that film off. Okay, now, 
right, we'll do that one in the copper clay also, because really the whole kit coordinates with this color. All right, I just did the blue because I wanted a blue enamel cup. Let's see. It doesn't matter where you're going. It's who you have beside you. This is a little blurry. Not blurry, but blotchy. But it's okay. It's all right. It's okay. Okay. And I do wish I had made my little cleaning cloth. You know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to use the big guy back up. Or not. Oh, yes. Yes, I am. Okay. It's the Stampin' Scrub. And we got a wash side and a dry side. And, you know, I was just thinking, I've got to have a graduation, a couple of graduation cards. And um, this is the water-based stamp cleaner. Now, this is from Ranger. But I've got some up there from Stampin' Up. It's just, I grabbed this one, y'all. Okay. Uh, one from Stampin' Up works just as well. Oh, look at all the fiber stuff I got off that towel. That's not good. Because I use this towel frequently. Guess who just lost their position in my studio? That towel it has lint. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry for the noise. But y'all, crafting can be noisy. Okay. I'll tell you what, there's not, though. There's no crying in crafting. It's just paper. Unless it's more than just paper. I think it's just paper. Okay. Now, you know what? Um, what? Where's the one with the adventure? Here it is. Cheers to another adventure. Oh, well, you know, it doesn't fit there. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta see where I can fit this one. Right there. I can fit it right there. Because that's what I need for one of the graduation cards. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And back to copper clay. You know, when I saw this color, I knew I would like it, but I'm I'm still very sad over um, the soft suede that was uh, retired. I love that color. It was my go-to brown, and this this is a very nice brown, but it's almost a um, almost like got a little rust color to it. Which is fine. It's going to be gorgeous this fall. But what about now? Right? Right. Okay. I'm going to set this right there. Okay. And I'm sorry my face is still in here right over there. Yep. Yeah, right over there. There. Wait a minute. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Um, I, I don't know how to remove it and still, you know, still let the big screen record and all that. I don't, I don't know how yet, y'all. So um, here, here's what y'all are getting today. Messy studio, not great lighting, um, not quite sure what I'm doing or how it's going to turn out. But you also got free parking. Okay, we're going to put this up. We're going to put that up. Okay, okay. Um, I don't know. Do we want to? Not yet. We're not going to use that quite yet. Uh, let's see. Doesn't matter where you're going. I think. I think I think I might use this one. Yeah, I like this one. So I'm going to show y'all how I'm going to get two cards out of one. You see that fold right there? That little um, foldy thing of thing? Mm -hmm. Score. Take my little, my little cutter here. 
And okay, y'all, the whole reason this isn't live is because I don't know what I'm doing yet. Okay. Um, I'm recording it and I will post it because I'm I did I did figure out some of this stuff, but I won't go live like this until <laughs> y'all I keep trying to find my trash can. Okay. The struggle is real. All right. Isn't that pretty? Ain't that pretty? Hold on. Did I? Yep. I've got my um new in color cardstock here that is not part of Paper Pumpkin. But look how pretty. Can we just talk about how pretty that is? All right. But do we want that color or do we want this one? Boom, boom, boom. I think I want this one. No, it's a boy. Mm -mm. We're going to get this one. This particular card is for a bully. A bully. And this is, the new color is called something. Um, Somebody blue. Boho. Boho blue. Boho where the hippies are. Oh, dear. Mm. Hold on. I got, I got to grab my, my cutting device. See, I did a, uh, did a card making thing at my church on Wednesday, and guess what I unpacked? Yeah, nothing. Mm -hmm. It's all sitting right behind me, but I know what's in there. I know. Okay, so first I'm going to do is score this at four and a quarter. Score, not cut. All right, so I've got four and a quarter measured there. Zing and zing. Okay, so I have a score. And then I'm going to, because four and a quarter is half of eight and a half. So I scored it right down the middle. Then I have five and a half. I'm going to cut because five and a half is half of 11. And our paper is eight and a half by 11. Boom. There's your math lesson for the day. And we're just going to fold like this. And then we have a card base or two. We have two. Look. Why would you not? Why would you not? I mean, that's so perfect. But wait, I want to do something else. Oh, dear. I don't know if I can get in there. Now, see, I am going a little rogue, y'all. Just, just a little rogue. I'm getting out my black card stock. And don't ask me what these pouches are right now because I don't remember. I mean, I've got, I've got everything over there that would tell me, but I'm not over there right now. I'm over here. Okay, so I want I want a blue layer, then the black, and then I want my card. Okay, so I it's easy to figure that, but I always glance at this little guy. I keep him in a drawer, and it tells me that my card is five and a half by four and a quarter because we just cut it and folded it that way. My next layer needs to be five and a quarter by four, and that's what I want my black to be. Five, let's uh let's see this five and a quarter. My dog's over there crying. By four. All right. Boop. Now that's gonna leave about an eighth of an inch all the way around. Let me say a quarter. It can't be a quarter. No. It's like an eighth, I think. Okay. So then we're going to put the this guy on, and he needs to be five by three and three quarters. So this is where you might want to be thinking a little bit before you before you start to cut, All right? Um, five by three and three and three quarters. So I'm going to do my three and three quarters, and all I'm going to be cutting off is that right there. So I think I'm going to go to four and cut a little bit there and then go to three and three quarters and get a little bit over here. Okay. And then I think I said five. So I'm going to go to five and a quarter. Get a little bit off the bottom and then go to five right here. And just get a little off the top. Is that what I said? Five. Yes. Okay. So do you see what I did there? I just, I kind of kept most of the scene in. I didn't cut it all off of one side. 
Um, that's the only brilliant thing you're going to see tonight or today or whenever you watch this thing. Oh, and by the way, um, I think I said this is the May 2023 paper pumpkin. However, you cannot order it once it's been shipped. That's what they do, y'all. That's what they do to us. It's okay. It's all right. I'm not bitter. Okay. Now, if y'all smell something burning, let me know because I just threw my paper that way and maybe it's going to catch on fire. Maybe it's not. I don't know. We'll know in a minute. Okay. So we got, <laughs> we got this right here. Um, oh, so I was going to tell y'all, we're babysitting our dog, our, our dog's son, our son's dog. He is a um, Himalayan something. I have no idea. Or is that a cat? A great Pyrenees. I knew it was up in the mountains somewhere. Um, he's a great Pyrenees. Maybe he's got a little lab in him. I don't know. But dude's got him a big old head. And he is the sweetest puppy dog. He is so sweet. And we're just we're just already just enjoying him. Um, but our son and his family are on vacation for a week. So we are in charge. All right. We want to be sure which way it opens because have we ever made a mistake? Of course not. Uh-huh. All the time. Now, I'm just going to glue this down. And do you need liquid glue? I would recommend that you get you some liquid glue. But you can also use the little glue things that came in the kit. You know, see how this kind of, I don't know, it kind of gives it a little frame. You know, I love it. Love it. Okay, cheers to another adventure. Let's see what the picture looks like. Even though I didn't follow it, y'all, it's this one. And they've got the different sentiment on it. But we're going to use this one. Cheers to another adventure. Maybe. Maybe I will trim this because it's awful bossy. It's awful bossy. And I don't like the little pieces on the sides. So, let's see. But yeah, um, he, he's a great Pyrenees and he does this thing with his teeth when he's smiling and wants to communicate with you. Oh my goodness, it's adorable. And we are just having a fit every time he does it. So he keeps doing it. Mm -hmm. yeah. He knows he's got us. How about that? Cheers to another adventure. Now, we are going to use um, our little pop-up thingies that I told you about. The Stampin' Dimensionals. First, I'm going to use some liquid glue. This is called Barely Arts. It's a precision craft glue. I highly recommend it. However, Stampin' Up! does sell the um, Tombow multi-purpose liquid glue. You can get it at any uh, big box store too. Crafting store. Not just any big box store. I mean, some people don't even sell glue, right? Like the grocery store? Well, no, they do. Anyway. You know what I mean. All right, we're going to go ahead and use these because my other ones are packed. So I got three, maybe five. It's probably too many. These are the Stampin' Dimensionals, and they have sticky on one side that I've already peeled off. You hear my dog whistling? He does it every night. Y'all. And he has an issue with texture. We figured that out. Um, we have tried every dog food in the world and he is so picky. Well, every dog food that the doctor says we should use, you know, there's some out here that, that's just not good for him at all. But anyway, um, bum, 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 scary dental tool. Okay. Oops. So yeah, we've tried several different dog foods with him and Number one, he doesn't know he's a dog. So why is he eating that, right? I'm sure that's what he's thinking. And number two, all right, there we go for our graduate card. 
And on the inside, we can do just a white sheet, okay? I'm not going to keep making. I just want to show y'all at least one. Um, let's see which one. I think this is the envelope. It is. Um, so, yeah, he, when he eats our dog, he just kind of, like, he can't stand to put it in his mouth. And he just works around. Oh, I was supposed to put that on there. He um he he acts like he can't stand it in his mouth, and I figured it out that he just he has issues with the texture. But um let's see. I think I'll do it like that. So I'm gonna put one here and one there, and then a little blue right here on this guy. Because he, he just keeps like he's feeling the dog food in his mouth, weirdo. And then he's fine. There we go. What do you think? What do you think? Isn't that cute? I'm sorry my desk is such a wreck. Um, all of these colors here are the um, the Stampin' Blends from Stampin' Up. And every time you, when you buy one, you get a pair. You get a dark color and a light that belongs to it. And I love having them. I, I sat on, oh, they come like this. They come like that. This is the mint macaron, the dark and the light. So this is the dark and this one's the light. But I did, I held out on them for a long time. And then I was like, all right. And I'm so glad I got them now, y'all. But my Copics are kind of like, you know, in the back of the bus. No, that's too much. But you know what? I could put the binoculars in here after I put my white panel. Okay, guys, that's it. And I hope, let me see if I can get me back up here. Um, I don't know if you can hear me. Please hold. Can you hear me? Yeah, you can. Um, yeah, so I'm sorry about all this and about all that. Hold on, let me turn that off. There we go. If you want the June paper pumpkin and you don't want to be left out, all you got to do is go to kathybow.stampinup.net and you order. There's a thing on there that says paper pumpkin. Oop, there we go. Um, do a screenshot, if you would, please. This is the host code for May. And use this for any orders under $150 at kathybow.stampinup.net. All right. Y'all have a blessed day, a blessed week. I'll be live on Kathy Bohan and Creatively Blessed on Facebook and hopefully YouTube if this thing will do that. And I think it will. All right. All right, guys. God bless and toodles.